Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Since Peyton has arrived, I now understand the use of very quick and easy craft projects that can be done during nap time. So today I'm going to show you how to make some really easy DIY Valentines that are cute and easy to customize as well. So I started off with 5x5 five five inch squares of craft cardstock and you can definitely use any color cardstock that you like. I just had craft color on hand so that's what I used. And I wanted to make it where um, it has a item on it that the receiver can then repurpose for their own DIY project. So I chose for the first one to use a lollipop flower. Since I wanted it to be able to be removable, I uh, put a little base that is just a flower cut out of paper and I stuck that down and then I put double stick tape on the back of the flower and stuck it down onto the card and that way it can be removed easily and then the tape can be removed and uh, there's no harm done to the flower. And then I just added a message that incorporated the uh, blue flower. You can definitely use any kind of flower that you like. You can also use um, like a flower on a barrette or a headband so that it's something that the receiver can wear, say if it's a young girl or something like that. And then you can just adjust the message to match the color or kind of flower. And if you want to make your own lollipop flowers like I show on my card, there is a link to a video down below where I show how to make them. The next Valentine starts with the same cardstock base and I cut some hearts out of scrapbook paper and attached those along with a heart button onto it, then wrote a message that incorporated the word button. And for both cards I rounded the corners for a nicer look and then I was done. Since I had recently reorganized my button collection, it was super easy to find the heart buttons. And if you want to see how I have currently got my buttons organized, there is also a link to that video below. If you want a cleaner look and a uh, quicker look for mass producing these cards, you can definitely design them on, their, on your computer and then um, print it out on cardstock and just simply attach the button or flower or candy or whatever you want onto it then. Uh, I would have done this except for my printer is out of ink, so I went with a handwritten approach, but if you need to make these, say, for a whole class worth of students, you could type up one or two different card variations and then just print several copies, cut them out, and you are good to go. So that is just a couple of quick DIY Valentine ideas. If you use any of my ideas, please share a picture on either my Facebook page or on Instagram with the hashtag Whitney Sews. And let me know in the comments if you are doing any DIYs for Valentine's Day. Don't forget to subscribe and I will be back soon with more videos. Bye!